We live along the coast and hurricanes are a fact of life in this region, but unfortunately our bridge infrastructure is vulnerable to damage from these events. Our research here at Rice University in the Civil Engineering Department evaluates the performance of these bridges and studies simple measures to help improve their safety under hurricane loads. Well, our team actually helped to perform some of the reconnaissance or field assessment of bridges going in right after Hurricane Katrina or after Hurricane Ike to evaluate the performance of these bridges. So a first important piece or component would be to understand the reliability of bridges under these surge and wave loads. One of the things that we did in our research uh, was to evaluate the bridge performance in the greater Houston and Galveston area. This map shows uh, the outcome of that assessment for a particular storm event. It color codes the bridges by their vulnerability. So the red bridges have a high probability of failure and the green bridges are relatively safe. The second thing that we can do is avoid this type of damage altogether. Um, by improving design details for new structures and also going back and retrofitting existing structures. Uh, there are very simple fixes that we can do to avoid this type of collapse that we've identified in our research. Uh, some of them are as simple as better connecting the superstructure and substructure. Uh, others of them would require perhaps rebuilding to higher uh, elevations uh, or with new and advanced materials. Well, this type of information we're hoping can be used for several purposes. One, to identify the most vulnerable structures and perhaps consider them for upgrade or retrofit. Another way this information can be used is to help emergency managers to evaluate the lifelines or emergency response routes that are likely to be viable after a hurricane.